Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today I have um, touchpad combination lock. And for those of you who don't know what um, how this works or touchpad that I came up with, I'll put a link in the description or something like that. So basically, you need a hoe to do this. And um, I just have this little chunk set up here. It uh, doesn't look um, that, nothing looks out of the ordinary. And this would be perfect for a... Uh, a mountainside secret entrance but if we come up here we can hit these blocks okay and the combination is one two and then one and as you can see it opens up that door and then this little block here will reset everything so if I hit that pretty cool right so the combination again is one two and then one you have to uh, put in the combination right or else it will not work and I used ring counters to set all of this up so that means um, you could set it up to a, a maximum of about uh, five outputs or five six outputs but in this video I have it set up for three outputs because it's easier to reset so anything that has um, anything that has red wool on top of it is uh, the um, part of the ring counter. So basically, I'll, a ring counter lets you select from up to about five or six outputs. Okay, I have it set up to three outputs right now, and I'll put a link in the description so you can see that. So basically, every time I um, hit this one of these blocks, the output will change. Okay. So right now it needs to be on this. It needs to be on uh, the redstone torch over here. So hold on one second. It's I'm sorry, it's lagging kind of bad. But basically, I need it to get on top, get the block on top of this redstone torch. And then when that happens, it will send uh, the redstone current over to here. And then this needs to be on top of that redstone torch to actually open up these pistons right here. So, and because it's three outputs, that means if you accidentally were to push this, let's say, twice instead of one time, this block right here, it will move off of the redstone torch, and this will not open up. And the resetting uh, mechanism, basically, I just add a delay to the, um, I add a delay to the piston that I uh, don't want it to pick up the um, dirt block and I just leave the redstone current without a delay if I want that piston to pick up the redstone current and um, and a good thing about this is if you want this to even be more hidden you can just put crops up on here um, and it, the grass also grows back so um, it it's not obvious so yeah uh, pretty cool so this resets it right here again it will reset it regardless on what um, on what output it's on and one two and then one and then that should open up the door there okay so thanks for watching guys um, be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe and I'll see you later